All right, so we checked out gear. Should be good to go. Akio. Ooh. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind him, but where could he be? Incendio. Where did that little thing go? Spider-ness. Accio! Incendio! That was easy. Accio! Incendio! Too easy. Too easy. Not a headless skeleton in sight. But I may as well help myself to this. Right. Incendio. Go through now. I can't go through. Can I go through? Let's keep moving. We move! We move! Did check that. Ooh, we did it. From Tops. An untouched chest. Tarotor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Majestic school road. Jackdaw would have been interested in this loop, but there's no. Yeah. 
Alter, das ist Mo. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. Hmm. Where were we? Where were we? Go through here. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what the heavy could be jacked to. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Hey, yo. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Farewell, monster. I can only imagine if the spiders multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Level 13. Level 13. Where's the last one? Revelio. Huh? I need to look around for the symbol. It's below, right? I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? symbol is hidden somewhere run 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 I right, we did it great success Closer to Jack Dawes beautiful now. and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. 
Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. <laughs> I there's something beyond this room. Oh shit. Get him, baby. Now these three. Oh, it's just, just one and then two. Right. Yo. Starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? Help me, I'm under the water. I hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. Help me, I'm under the water. Oh, cool. What is this place?
or paintings. Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganarch were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Right. Ooh, your connection to Asian magic is unlock talents. You will receive one talent point each time you each time you increase your wizarding level. Talent points. Starting at level five. You may spend these talent points. Stealth and more. Uh huh. Okay. okay spells. I feel like this is the better, better one. Dark arts. Or you got two more. Oh, that seems very useful. Nah. Yo, this seems to be useful. Alright, upgrades. Beautiful. I like that. Exit the map chamber. All right, let's go. We made it. 
Oh, it's kind of nice. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? I've always said that travel. Oh, we got a flu thing here. Let's exit. I'm back at Hogwarts. I knew that Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Right. Quest completed. Another key. What is that? You need to learn the Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. What are the tasks? Acquire and use a focus potion. Flying class, okay. Learn the pulse all. Acquire and use a focus potion. Let me go to map. Hogsmeade. Let me sell my let me sell my stuff that I don't need. Sometimes it seems all sell roads everything. lead to Hogsmeade. Come on in and have a look around. Right. No touching if you have sticky fingers. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Should we sell the purples as well? I say we sell the purples as well. Please, uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. Right, let's go to the potion shop. Uh, we need to buy some potions. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Potion shop. Right, right there. They shouldn't be too expensive. When you think about it. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Focus potion. A wise decision. Thank you. I don't know what was the what was the I hope to see you again. Farewell. Agreement. Assignment. Focus potion. Maximize interest potion. What can I do for you today? Focus potion. A wise decision. Thank you. I think we already have a Doris potion. Can't 
sell anything. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Right. Look at the gate. Go, go to flying class. Right, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> what about what about? Rebellion. Broken broom. No. Put the book away. Run around with that book, put the book away. All right, there we go. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. <laughs> Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Yay! Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. Hey, there we go. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Look at the drip, though. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The ah, rooms are ah, school property. I think I'm getting the hang I of this. I want them returned in one piece. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Uh-huh. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> oh, beautiful. I like this. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? 
Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Oh, this is kind of fun. I like this. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> this is rather fun. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Flying so quickly. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Almery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Why is it going so fast? Professor, we were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you. You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. 
If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Right. Challenge completed. Take a look at my quests. What do we have? Is the map with the floating candles to find the treasure? Forest, right? That's Hogsmeade. I bet it's out here. I bet it's out here. Floating candles. You can't imagine how we have an idea of how I met the There was the Polonia. I think I'm in the right spot. Oh, where's the floating candles? Lumos. I don't think we found it. This is the right place. Lumos. There we go. Candles. Wonder where they're heading. To the forbidden, forbidden forest? The candles seem to be leading into the forbidden forest. Lumos. The treasure must be nearby. I suppose a picnic in the forbidden forest. Treasure hunting suits me. Hmm, we did it. Let's see what we got though. Here.
400 gold. Ooh. I liked it. Miss Basham is uh Professor Weasley. Ooh, okay. at a waypoint. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Let's be with Perry Pippin. He is the potion guy. We have everything a young student when it comes to potions. Have a good look at us. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented right. potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Mm. Man in delivery. Called Clementine, the three brooms, right? I'll say it again. Can't... Shall I have the courage to go into the forest? Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Okay. There's one more quest here. Don't 
Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. Good luck. Uh huh. How much oh, is this gonna cost me? Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Yes, sir. Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently, criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Right. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Sure, I'll do it. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Uh -huh. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. You're back. Nice to see you again. Ah, <sighs> can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Right. I guess we got time for one more mission. All right, let's go. Let's go. We can, we can do one more mission, I think. What are you up to now? Me special. Sweet. Over here. Shh. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. 
Is it the room of requirement? There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Uh huh. Can we move past you? Did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What Rebellion. I give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides right. in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Unidentified face item. I'm intrigued. Oh, okay. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again. Mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway. The Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Bingo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candles. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendium. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. I think I've got it. Wait, did it? I have to say, cool. I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive.
This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Right. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. We move. We move. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. I... Let me, uh... Let me save. Let me wrap this up. Milan starts to play in 45, 50 minutes. I'm gonna watch that game for sure. I'll let you know tomorrow how I, uh, what happened. Or if I'm busy tomorrow, I might stream on Sunday.